so what's going on? It is a crowded day here, especially at around five o'clock. But uh, yeah, <laughs> um, it's not bad. It's a little bit fairly crowded, but not you know. Grass grow. I just got off that right now. I really wanted to film it in a way, but you know, it is what it is. So yeah. But uh, I think they got blue pretty much closed. I don't know. Blue's closed. For the time being. It's really awesome though. That's right. Uh, soon we'll be walking this for Halloween Horror Nights, guys. Give it time. Very soon. And look who decided to go along with us. Our little baby boy. Look at him. Y'all want to see him? You ready for this? You ready for this awesome vlog? There he is. Ain't he cute? He's only two months old. First time here at Universal Studios with the both of us. Mom and Dad. And he's having a blast too as well. So. And here comes our shuttle. I hope. Blue's gonna come out at 6.30. I guess like every half hour or so. But, you know, it's a pretty nice show to ride too. Definitely for sure. But uh, it is nice to be able to bring our son along too as well. Right, ladies and gentlemen, we have just a few safety rules to go over. First, if you need guest assistance, or if you have a medical emergency, or if you drop something of value off the side of the tram, or if you have any sound or video issues, reach up and grab the fire department. We've got our own police department. We've got our own bank, our own post office. We've got a zip code, you guys. We've even got three Starbucks, so that's how you know this is a real city, and the lines are always short. But the only thing we don't have here, guys, is the population. As soon as the cameras stop rolling, well, we roll it on home. The only thing we do have, though, are not residents, but residences. At least it feels like we live here. The most important aspect of production is location, location, location. And that's what is exactly here. Montana's two-story mansion was constructed inside of South State Square, along with the visitor center from Jurassic World. Now, as we round the bend, we're going to make our way into what we like to call our front lot. This is where all the action happens, you guys. On your left-hand side are a few more sound stages, 20 and 19. Sound stage 19 has its elephant door open, and you can see inside. It's pretty much a blank canvas before we get started with pre-production, which also involves construction of the sets inside of these sound stages where your favorite performances have been created. Now, it's evening time on a work day, so we're winding down, but these sets and sound stages allow us to work 24 hours a day, seven days a week, around the clock, rain or shine, sleet or snow. We're like the post office, except our schedule matters to us. Now on your left-hand side is sound stage 16. It's a very historic sound stage. The iconic shower scene from Psycho was filmed inside of Soundstage 16, starring Janet Lee. <laughs> but currently it's being used for Superstore, starring America Ferreira and Ben Feldman. Now as we round the bend, uh, I want you to make note of these garages. Over on your left-hand side, the garage furthest in the distance was used in Jurassic Park. People parked there. It's very important production vehicles. In fact, on your left hand side you'll see the production vehicles used People for the voice. There. That's how we transport talent <laughs> really? across the property and back up to the front lot if need be. And you'll also see the heat makes us fall Actors will hop onto golf carts and make their way to Baltimore. Kinda sorta. That's not Baltimore. If you look in that upper right hand corner you're looking at the back side of the Hollywood side, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Metropolitan Sets. This is not Baltimore, you guys, but these city scenes can be made up to look like any city in the world, real or fake. In fact, you might even recognize this as Central Park from Lady Sings the Blues, starring Dana, Diana Ross and the coolest cat this side of the galaxy, Billy Dee, Billy Dee Williams. Or you might even recognize the brownstones across the street if you were home alone. And you were Kevin McAllister, played by American treasure Macaulay Culkin. Now, look closely at the brownstones on your right-hand side. You're going to notice that they are not exactly the most spacious. 
LA is not known for roomy studio apartments, uh, much like the storefront on your left-hand side used as Baltimore from Hairspray. These sets are what we call facades. These are not real buildings, ladies and gentlemen. These are just the front and sides of a building. So if you need to film the interior scenes for these exterior sets, well, you gotta go inside of a sound stage. So, for example, let's say you were on the left-hand side of this particular section of the lot. You would find yourself in the classically historic fictional town of Hill Valley, as seen in Back to the Future and Back to the Future 2, starring Christopher Lloyd and Michael J. Fox. We'll pause here for just a moment so you guys can get some great photos, but I'd like to remind you to remain seated. It was actually the back lot of the Courthouse Square that inspired the entire climax to Back to the Future. I had scenes up at the clock tower on that ledge. It was a ledge about that wide, and I was standing inside looking at the ledge, and I already had the vertigo. I just thought there's no way in the world, no way I'm going to stand on that. I was up there for quite a while. Of course. Steve, you think are in that wall? You can yell it at me, I can hear you. Just open the vehicle. How, how many bricks do you think are in that wall, you guys? I, I saw a zero back there. You're absolutely correct. There's not a single brick involved in any one of these walls, ladies and gentlemen. What you are looking at is plaster of Paris. Yeah. These are what we call vacuum form panels. In order to quickly change the appearance of these buildings from film to film, scene to scene, we can easily strip down each one of these panels and staple some new ones right back up there. In fact, if you look down that alleyway, that's my favorite kind of brick. We call that murder brick. Yeah, yeah, really grungy down that alleyway. In fact, in-depth discussion about Liam Neeson's and Mel Gibson's and Key and Peele. As a matter of fact, uh, that very same alleyway I just showed you, as well as the one on your right hand side, uh, you might recognize it as Brooklyn in the 1940s. Let's say if you were Captain America, the first Avenger. Let's say you took some super soldier serum and you just became CrossFit cat. You'd go running down that alleyway right there, which actually happens to be behind an Oscorp from the amazing Spider-Man. Oh wow, oh wow. That was the 1940s and present day. Brooklyn and Queens right there in one location. So, right over there, that is the theater that Mary Jane had her play. The one where Tobey Maguire showed up late. Yeah, lots of superheroes hang out here. In fact, this is where they filmed a few scenes from Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., Marvel's Agent Carter. So, the design is essential to the versatility of these sets. And these sets were recently renovated and made HD ready. That renovation was overseen by none other than Steven Spielberg. Here on the lot, we're pretty fortunate to have some long standing. Uh, we have created this 3D nice immersive uh, experience, so you're going to have to have your glasses ready. Don't put them on yet, but just have them in your hand because we're about to return to Skull Island. The original King Kong was produced in 1933 by a company known as RKO. They make use of an 18 inch tall puppet in combination with a tech. I'll show you a few more uh, hairy situations in which our tram has found itself. Even have some of the more famous.
famous vehicles and cinematic history in our picture car garage. Remain seated, but get those cameras ready. Coming up on your left-hand side, it's the Ford Cobra from the 2008 installment of Knight Rider, voiced by Val Kilmer. Right next door is the Ferrari 308, dri driven in Magnum PI by Tom Selleck's mustache. And you might have noticed the 1946 Ford convertible from Back to the Future. It's been completely reupholstered. And you might have even noticed we have a few of the prehistoric predecessors to the Prius from the Flintstones in our midst as well. But we can't talk about picture cars without making mention of the million dollar fleet from Fast and Furious, starring Ben Diesel, Michelle Rodriguez, as well as Paul Walker. Uh, we've also got the gyrosphere from Jurassic World in our collection as well. You'll notice it's missing the glass because this vehicle has no AC. Uh, actually, it never had any glass at all for that very reason. It would have been like a giant hamster ball. Storica. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Feast your eyes on the such and prop pieces from the Jurassic Park franchise. Now, dinosaurs are in our DNA here at Universal, and we even have them here in the theme park. First things first, on your left-hand side, you'll see the mobile lab unit from the Lost World. Jurassic Park. I want you a little mood music. Maybe we can coax them out. Uh, now keep in mind, these are real Hollywood celebrities, okay? They're a little camera shot. But this particular species of dinosaurs cannot resist flash photography. Okay, so just be patient. Keep your eyes peeled. Uh, it's very elusive. But uh, you can find it here in its natural habitat. Uh, we've tried to recreate it as closely as possible. You'll notice that there are several evergreens included in the flora and fauna. As a matter of fact, not only are they evergreen, um, they're, they're so evergreen they're not biodegradable because they're made of styrofoam. And that is an emergency cord pull. Pull the cord one more time as if, if this is a metal. Choppy, I just got my hair done. 
Whoa. Okay, do you have your cameras out? This is your second celebrity sighting of the day. Now zoom in, because this guy looks great, all right? You just had work done. About work having plastic surgery. Okay, pop quiz. Guys, what kind of shark is that? Can you yell it at me? World Bruce! Cancer? What? I heard, I heard a great white. That Bruce. is an excellent answer. I can tell you read a lot of zoom bits, but that's a mechanical shark. It's mechanical, yeah. yeah. I would have also taken plastic. That's a good answer, too. Oh, now, check it out. Here's a taste of Hollywood talent. That's the only shark on the seven seas you'll ever see through the backstroke. How cool is that? Here's the thing about this guy. He's fully functional and completely reliable, unlike the mechanical shark that they use on the set of Jaws. Diplomatic Security Service. Got and it. as of 16.9 seconds ago, I'm the man in charge. Awesome. The hell you are. Let me clue you in on two things, sweet cheeks. One, there's a high value witness from the Federal Protection Program aboard your vehicle. And two, an international crime syndicate led by Owen Shaw is honing in on this vehicle to take that witness out. Okay. Shaw's as ruthless as they come, and he'll stop at nothing to eliminate his target. Every living soul on this vehicle is in serious danger. Even the tour guide? Other than that, enjoy the ride. This is not your jurisdiction. It is now, Stink Pickle. Language. I'm so tired of you Stink guys stepping in. Just whatever you, you feel like. Mute him. All right. Don't you. That's better. We're moving your vehicle to a safe location until we have the situation under control. Okay. Until then, I want everybody to stay calm. Enjoy the ride. I'm taking care of business. Oh. Uh, well, gang, silver lining, there is quite the Hollywood shindig happening in here. Uh, so maybe no flash photography this time around. There's a possibility we could see some celebrities in here. We don't want anybody to think we're paparazzi, you know what I'm saying? But I'll tell you what, hey, let's get ourselves in here and have a good time. Yeah. <laughs> Now, or you all get fried! 
This is our turn. Check this out guys, the original Pitbull hoverboard is in Universal, get in there, wow, a little bit of made out of wood, you know, how epic is this, walking their dogs, drones, that's pretty neat. Biff's cane. The USA jail today. Wow. Youth jail. Look at that. Sports almanac. Everything here is all original. Look at Marty's shoes. They're all like faded out now. That's like legit right there. Look. Biff's uh, cigarettes. Cigarette lighter. Or, yeah, match, cigarette matches. That's pretty awesome. Wow. But this. The hoverboard. Seriously. Pretty darn cool. I almost did not see this before. Well, I did, but I just didn't have time to film it. Jurassic Park, Jurassic World, and Doc Brown over there chilling. It's all made out of wood. Alright, you guys. I just want to say we made it home safely. And thank you all for watching our vlog. It really means a lot. Sorry I didn't get to film Jurassic World today. It's just the lines were um, like 170 minutes long. But at least it outbeats uh, at least for a whole hour. But, you know, it is what it is. But uh, I just had to... I just had to put this guy to sleep. But, ain't it cute? That's my boy. Everybody say hi to DeLorean. I was trying to put him out. Say hi to the vlog, buddy. Yeah. He's got his music box over there and everything. He's got his Ghostbuster cars over there. His Knight Rider vehicle over there. I try to find a spot for it, but you know, it is what it is. Welcome to this world, buddy. Even though you're well over two months, but we love you so much, pal. Even these guys, too, as well, on my channel. They all say, subscribe to DDR USA. And you never know what you might see and what the future will hold. Especially with our baby boy, too, as well. And, uh, who knows? Maybe later on there might be more future videos with him. You know? That'd be really awesome. 
probably do some tummy time. You know, and see what it's like. Yeah, I know. He looks just like me, right? Anyways, I will see you guys real soon. It is so weird being a father, and it's it's a good weird. And uh, we're just very excited to be awesome parents, and there's a lot of stuff that we want to tell you. But overall, click that bell button, and also click that subscribe button if you guys are new to the channel, and we will see you all real soon. I gotta put the kid to sleep. I know, huh? I know. I know, Daddy's gotta put you to sleep now. Alright, you guys. Uh, thank you all for still sticking with us to our journey, you know, becoming one with the channel. And I will see you guys real soon. Um, there's been a lot of construction updates going on with uh, Halloween Horror Nights. And also with some more construction for the uh, Nintendo World project. It's pretty cool, crazy stuff, really. It's coming along quite nicely. Alright, I gotta put the kid to sleep. So, anyways, I will see you guys later on. Have a good one. Bye.